Hey everybody, Walker here. We're on episode number 33 of our Thumbcraft Let's Play series. Today we are going to start working on making this bad boy do stuff other than just feed us. Okay, uh, recap last episode we put the, uh, whatchamacallit, modified runic matrix on the top. And I did mention how I wasn't sure if it was like that's where it was supposed to go, but I, I will demonstrate for you now. I am actually right clicking and I cannot get it to go anywhere. Okay? Not even there. But there it goes. So, yes, that is exactly what we have to do with that. All right. So, what can we do with our newfound. I don't know if that famous in there is going to be a problem or not. What can we do with this uh, vat? That would be my think tank. We're going to walk over here so we don't hear that. Okay, what can we do with this uh, curative vat with the creature infusion modified runic matrix on it? Well, um, let's see, also I'll give creature item on uh, Very first of all, over here, we need to uh, take a quick look over here. Once the infusion vat has been set up, its operation is almost identical to the standard infusion altar, though ascension must be piped in directly. So whatever we do, we need to um, put jars of Essentia around. And I've, I've looked through, and I do not recall anything having more than four uh, types of Essentia needed. Oh, what's this? Runic Hide? When, where'd that pop up from? Anyway. Modify living creatures. Time to add more exotic magical properties. Adding a thin layer. Oh, neat. Okay, anyway, back to what we were doing. Um, I've never seen more than four on any of these. Uh, like, here we go. The uh, Orbor, which is something I'm going to make sooner or later because it sounds so cool. He only takes Famous, Ignis, Metallum, and Terra. <laughs> so... As long as, uh, I, I believe nothing has more than four. All right. So we have to pipe it in directly. Next up. Um, in addition to the usual effects, accumulated instability will damage the subject. Worse, the process cannot be aborted. It'll end in either success or death. So once we start it, we can't stop it. Not only that, but who, whatever we're trying to infuse will take damage over time. Less hardy creatures may not survive complex infusions without outside help. Your experiments have shown that providing a combination of Aqua, Ordo, and Terra Centivi can slow the rate of injury. Okay, so we need that, which I took the boring part out and I went and got myself a node. It has Aqua, Terra, and Ordo. It also has a little bit of Ignis. That's fine. I wonder if it's... Can I? No. Darn. Hold on. Turn that right down. That's a little better. Okay. Uh, I haven't uh, busted the jar yet, though, because we're going to do that together. So we now have... It's a pale node, unfortunately, and I did not put an advanced node stabilizer under it to... Because I don't need one. It's just a pale node. Um, but we don't care. We don't need a lot of Centivy for this. I don't think. It doesn't say that we need a minimum of anything. Some of them say that you need, like, a minimum of a certain amount, but this just says Aqua, Ordo, and Terra. Aqua, Ordo, and Terra. So we're going to let that energize. We also need to decide what we're going to do. Okay. Now I collected a few more creatures. I collected a creeper and a zombie. Um, it's going to come down to either I'm going to make the Orbor, or I'm going to make the, uh, I'm going to make the Golden Chicken. I'm going to make the Golden Chicken, uh, because over here, more impressively, you have discovered a method of performing alchemical reactions within a chicken. The golden eggs it lays can be smelted to produce a single gold nugget should be noted that the process is slow and gradual. Killing the chicken which lays the golden eggs will not reveal a stockpile of gold. But that's okay. Um, 
I'm fine with it being slow, but you know, if I make a home mess load of these guys, uh, I can just have them single gold nugget. Nugget. So it should just be, uh, yeah, okay. So we take the golden egg, and we smelt it, and it gets us a golden nugget. That is an alternative source of gold, and as we know, gold is a commodity for us. Um, a rare commodity. We're now down to seven gold ingots, and I really don't want to have to go hunting for more gold. So any way that we can produce gold without having to go find it, better for us. We're going to do mm. the chicken. So for that, we need uh, a crucible, mm. no chemical construct, two golden mm. apples. We need 16 fabrico, eight lucrum, and eight metallum. I was at odds at what I was going to do for this episode, but I I kind of figured I was going to go for the chicken, so I actually have all the stuff I need for the chicken, but I also have all the stuff I need for the uh, boar. I do have a furnace and that and that. I don't know if I have enough Essentia for it though, so let me, what was it, 16, 8, and 8? Well, I definitely have enough Metallum. Lucrum, I need 8 Lucrum. Yeah, I got plenty of that. Oh, I only have 10 Fabrico. And I brought a bunch of stuff with me just in case I needed to cook it for... Um, crafting table? Crafting table is for Fabrico. I would have thrown the apples in there if I had to. Golden apples. Which I don't have scanned yet, so let's do that while he's doing this thing. 12 lucrum. One apple would have done it for me. And would have gotten me some bonus everything else, too. Okay, 17 is enough. So what we gotta do... I think I made arcane pedestals, because it says that it works like a table. And that's how it's set up in here. See? It, it even uses the same gra graphic as Arcane Infusion. Um, blah, blah, blah. No, not that one. This one. Let's see. Fusion fat has limitations. Likewise, creatures of an already magical nature, such as undead and golems, will not be affected. Um, can have any number of general infusions, but only one species-specific infusion. And they do not pass on their infusions to their offspring. Uh, that must be piped in directly. Once jarred, the specimen can be stored indefinitely. To break the jar and release your captive, right-click it in one. Assign an injury creature before the da da da. Where is it? General infusions? Fusion back. How do I get the thing in there? Um. Um. <laughs> form unmodified cure does require a few reagents. Pipe fictus. Finally, a clone will require a reagent. Is one cures. You may extract your creature or creation by right clicking the vat with a warded jar. Breaking a vat which contains a creature will likely be fatal. Huh. I'm I'm not sure. Well let's let's do this first. One, two, three, four. We'll figure it out. Two golden apples with the crucible on the left. Okay. Huh. Uh, let's go get our Essentia, because we need, we need that. I swear I'm going to make an easier way of getting down here sooner or later. Alright, we needed... Metallum... Lucrum, 
a fabrico. Back upstairs. Oh, um, because I knew I was going to be making a whole mess load of different, like, animals with this, because that's what this is for, and also because I, uh, wanted to make this a little cleaner instead of being outside in the rain, I cleared out that mountain hill that was right here, and I'm going to build a barn in between this episode and next episode. I'm not going to build it on screen because we've all built buildings and and it's not anything amazing. If you want a quick tutorial on how to build the end result, hi. Uh, I'd be more than happy to do that as one of my mini Minecraft videos, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing actual construction in the Let's Play series. Okay, anyway, just wanted to get that up there. It took me like two hours to clear that whole area out, because, uh, well, my shovel has been somewhat repaired. Alright, how do we get you in? Is it just I right-click on it, and maybe I put the jar in? Come here, chicky. How do I get you in? Oh! Oh! Okay. And I get my jar back, too. Okay, nice. Hey! Hey, chicken. You looking fine. Tasty. We're gonna Kentucky fry you right up. Okay. Enough jokes. So everything looks to be au set. No. No. Terra, Ordo, Aqua. Everything's there. I guess I just right do, do, do I? No. Oh, that's how many hit points the chicken has. Do I right-click on the, the matrix? Oh, yes I do. Oh, that's cool. And I guess we can monitor its health like this. Oh, that's really cool. Ah! Our chicken died. That's not cool at all. Aw, oh, man. No. Failed infusion. Do, 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 do. You know, come here. Oh man, it went everywhere. There, clean that up for me, would you? That might not even be. Um, come back here. I'm gonna put you on top. Clean that up for me, would you? Oh, that sucked. Oh, maybe the stairs caused some instability? I didn't lose any items. Ah, uh, hold on. I have something to steal. Go away. Anyone else? Uh huh. Prudent thermometers will make sure her altar is well prepared. Well, that's just for making the darn thing. Almost identical to a standard, though, essentially must be piped in. Must uh, risk here. Steep the damage of the subject. And your sprints are shown providing a combination of aqua order and terra sent V can slow the rate of injury. Hmm. Moderate. Minor. High. What are you? Egg yolks filled with inky black pigment. Ew. I don't need that. I could make the chromatic sheep, I suppose. I want to make something. Four permutatio and eight census. I know I have plenty of census from last episode, but I don't know about... Yeah, I don't have any permutatio. I'm still working on getting that made. That sucks. Um... What about cow? 
I don't have any cocoa beans, so I can't make chocolate milk or chocolate cows. I, I, I have no use for a mushroom. I mean, I could make him quite easily. I just have no use for one. I guess I could try making the Orbor. The Orbor eats excess cobble um, and excretes trace amounts of ore it finds. So that could be useful. This one looks really cool and I might make one if that tainted area that we passed by last episode gets any closer. I guess. Ah, eight, eight, sixteen, and eight. Well, I have plenty of Famous, I have plenty of Terra, wherever the Terra is. Metallum, I had a whole jar, I have most of a jar. Ignis, I got plenty of Ignis. Okay, maybe it's because it had that, that um, little tiny bit of Famous in it. God, I hope I don't have to like surround that thing with gems and crap too. What else I need, Terra? And I already have, uh, whatchamacallit, Metallum up here. I got plenty of Metallum. The Lucrum I'll take. The, uh, Fabrico I'll take. And the Thamus can go right down here. Guess it's a good thing I didn't lose any of the items. I'm a little bummed out though, I wanted that to work. It looks so cool. Put those in there. Okay, what do I need? I need green, red, black, and a furnace. Red, green, entropy. Is he still putting? Oh no, he got all of the cobble put away. Good boy. But I need another tiny bit. Furnace. Not that, that. Okay. I guess we'll try making the ore bore then. Because that's only moderate. Green, red, and then black on the bottom. Pretty sure I had uh, the tables set up proper, right? Are you cleaning that up? Tell you what I'm going to do. Keep cleaning that mess up. I still don't think those are working proper. I I had it set up in a uh, uh, one of my creative worlds uh, that I used to do the little mini episodes, and um, I left it running for a while with it piped to a jar, and I didn't see any magic get piped into that jar. Mm. All right, let's try this again. I have five jars. Mm. Pop the pig in, now I have six jars. That piggy is like, no, 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 no. I have Metallum, I have Terra, mm -hmm. Ignis, and I have Thamis. I have everything mm -hmm. around it. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens this time. Can see the Essentia Centibi getting yanked out of that node. Oh, what the heck? Oh, and it had to be the furnace too, didn't it? It's always the one that I need to like. <laughs> I can just cook the rest of them. Okay, it's accepting it. 
Ah, I made it. Okay, good. So I accepted the rest of them. <laughs> that sucked. Ah, I wonder why it's doing that. I, I don't really know. I, I, I guess I must need to put stability aids around this stupid thing. That sucks. That means I need more stuff. Oh, lovely. All right, um... Of course, my saturation is up high enough. Let's show you how to get rid of this in case you didn't know. I have Unnatural mm -hmm. Hunger 3. It's one of the warp effects from having researched too much forbidden stuff. Yeah, bring it over, dude. Uh, all right, there it goes. Notice... Oh, if I eat, now I'm at hunger too. I didn't eat all of it. Now I'm at hunger one. My saturation is full again, so I can't eat anything. Come on. There we go. There. Now I just have regular hunger for 30 seconds. I can deal with that. Okay. Um, how do we get you out? If I break the vat, you die. Do I need the... Aha! Look at that. Jarred or boar. Alrighty, we made him. We might as well uh, test him, right? So, first of all, let's get our wand with that cool cap on it. So we can put him back in the jar when we're done. Let's get uh, another stack of cobble here. The furnaces, I'll just, I don't know, I'll drop and cook those up. I kind of panicked there. Ah, I got too much stuff. Good enough. Oh, I can put the wood in the wood bucket. I really love this i mean <laughs> look at him go he's sorting it for me look at him look at him he goes all the way up and he wanders around and he picks it down i love it i love it so much okay back to work so according to what i read we right click to break the jar just like a node hey look at him there hey little buddy i'm gonna scan you Hey, look at that. Hey, little buddy. All right. Come here. No? No? How do I get you to come over here? Do, do you react to, um, what do pigs react to? Carrots? Go get me a carrot. Oh, wait, I had carrots right there. Oops. Oh, well. Do you react to carrots like regular piggies? You do. Alrighty, come here, piggy. Alright. So we throw cobble down. Oh, he's eating. Ah, and he spits out iron, iron, iron. Is it just iron? Nope. Quicksilver. Alright, so it's not amazingly good, but um, one stack got us five oh. items could be better, but I guess, you know, having him would be a little OP, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's also kind of scary looking. Alright, we're putting you back in a jar. Oh, that was fast. There you have it. Infused creatures. Uh, so next episode, we're going to try and do the chicken again. Oh, I really want a chicken. We're going to have a barn built, and I'm going to move these guys over here, and um, uh, we're going to have probably... Um, what are you after? What are you after? Oh, I'll just after that stuff. Are you after the egg? 
There, yeah, he was after the egg. Mm. Um. The frig? Why did I put that down? I don't know. Um, we're gonna ha alter how we deliver our um, Victus to the lamp of fertility. Okay, we're gonna use something from Atomic Esoterica. We're going to have more of them. We're gonna set up a very nice barn in here where we have um, one side is probably gonna be a butcher golem with cows and chickens, okay, and pigs, because we'll get pigs too. And then the other side will be our enchanted or infused creatures, okay. Um, and hopefully we'll have uh, we'll have like um, either gather golems. Probably gather golems. Probably gonna need gather golems, especially for the ore bore. Because I was thinking of like, like uh, trapping them in a small area and then having a uh, hopper underneath them to collect all the drops. But with the ore bore, because he needs the cobble there. How are we gonna do that? Maybe a dropper that gets filled with cobble. We'll have to figure that one out. That could be a nice, cool little setup that we do um, using. Atomogy to keep the hopper full, but not over full. Or not the hopper, the dropper. And then um, we can use our tally boxes to control uh, different aspects of how we want the uh, inventory to go. And of course, we'll uh, set it up with an actual sealed chest so that it goes to the proper chest in our storage facility. I think that could work well. And we'll fix these guys too and turn them back on. And we might set up a, a system where if uh, what we're very first of all, as much as I love the mirror, we're going to change it to a sealed chest so that we can have. I just ran through a vish room. Whoa, so we can have another sealed chest set down here that we can set up with uh, crops and stuff because I keep collecting um, flowers and seeds and stuff that need to go over here and I always have to run up and put it into this hungry chest so we're just gonna set up another sealed chest for that all right and with that we're gonna call this an episode and I think it, we didn't get what we wanted but we got another thing that's pretty cool the ore bore seems to me I, I, maybe he'll drop gold too at some point. Darn, I was hoping it'd be a chicken. Um, with that, we're going to wrap the episode up. If you enjoyed this episode, leave me a like down below. Uh, I'd like to give a thanks to Bird. Um, he uh, used and gave me credit for... Um, my cart system build that we see over in our crop sorting system over here. He used it in one of his videos recently and gave me a shout out in his description, which I appreciate very much so. And and it's, you know, an uh, honor, I guess. It's really nice to see something that I worked on. And this is actually my very first original build um, system that I ever designed without having any hints or clues or anything so it's really nice to see that in someone else's build too um i i really appreciate it and also he used only uh vanilla minecraft and filmcraft redstone mechanics he didn't use anything from atomogy so if you're watching my videos and uh you're um want to set up this system but you don't have Atomogy, uh, go and check out his video. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. And um, and you can see how he sets it up using just vanilla vanilla Minecraft Minecraft mechanics. All right, with that, we're going to call it a day. I ran through the Vish room again. And as we get some nausea, I'm going to say, if you enjoyed the video, leave me a like down below. Subscribe to my channel for more daily Minecraft and Thomcraft. Ugh.
Minecraft, Thawncraft, and Dwarf Fortress videos five days a week, Monday through Friday. We update Thawncraft, the Let's Play series every day, our One Chunk Survival Vanilla series on Friday, and Dwarf Fortress on uh, Monday and Wednesday. And it is cleaning it up a little bit, though I'm still not too... I need to build a couple of scrubbers. And next episode, we'll continue working on getting this stuff working. There is a way that I can infuse these guys with loyalty that I have read about, but I'm not sure I have that um, unlocked. Oh, wait, there it is, instilled loyalty. So I could uh, have a loyal zombie and creeper follower, too. That could be interesting, so we'll see about that. And with that, I think we're going to say, check you later.